Hi everyone, welcome back to Bye Bye Bye. Today we're going to be celebrating Bloomingdale's 150th anniversary. That is a huge milestone for such a big department store. If you haven't been to Bloomingdale's recently, definitely check them out. Their product is so on point right now, especially all of their footwear and accessories. They're carrying so many new brands and they just have so much selection. It was so hard for me to just narrow down shoes to review today because there really was a lot to choose from, from different silhouettes, different price points, different colorways. Everything that they had, I absolutely loved. And if you don't have access to a local department store, check them out online because there's even more variety online. And because it is their 150th anniversary, they have one of a kind Bloomingdale's exclusive, meaning only Bloomingdale's have them, um, styles or colorways from luxury brands to mid-tier level brands that are, are really affordable. I a thousand percent recommend like use up your loyalty points, get that Bloomingdale's card because you're going to want to use it. So in honor of this 150th anniversary, I thought it'd be really fun if we had an episode where we reviewed three different styles that were $150 or less. So like always, I'm going to review the shoes with you. We're going to talk about all the details, the materials, the color, the comfort, and I'm going to try them on and really talk about fit. And at the end, we really want to decide if they are worth buying or, you know, saying bye bye to them. Let's get started with the first shoe. The first shoe I'm going to go over, it's actually by Kirk Geiger. Kirk Geiger is a British brand. They are so well known in Europe and the UK. You can see them all over London. They have their individual stores, but most importantly, they're huge in department stores. Until recently, I've actually seen them sprinkled in the US in the department stores, like at Bloomies and at Nordstrom's. They are just so easy to spot because they are so cute. They're really fun and colorful and bold and they really stand out. I think that the way they display them, they do such a good job and they have amazing accessories. And these shoes are just here to party. Look at how fun they are. They are little buckled mules, just your typical shoe that you slide right in and slide right out. And you know, mules were huge this summer and they're continuing on through fall. And I just love how fun they are. They really do look like Barbie shoes. I swear anything pink nowadays reminds me of Barbie shoes, but for real, it's like I could swear that I had a Barbie once that had similar shoes like this because they're just so cute. It seriously reminds me of confetti and just like baby girl stuff because the wrap around the insole board and the heel has a light pink base, but it has these like iridescent sprinkles through it. That is so cute. And it goes so nicely with the PVC straps that have glitter in them. And these straps are so great because they are see-through, but at the same time, like you could totally see that they're a light pink color and you can see the cute little sparkles. And how fun is this, this additional touch of this jeweled buckle? It's just so decorative and I just love it. I love that there's six straps and these buckles actually are functional. Like you can kind of move them around um, to see how it fits on your foot. I think how their positions are just so beautiful. It is four inches tall, but you can see there's a lot of visible cushion in the sock. So I really, really, really hope that they're comfortable. And just as an added bonus, how beautiful is the sock color? It's like this nice, rich tan color. And I'm just like so over those nude, synthetic material socks and just look all like they have pores and stuff. Like, those are kind of gross sometimes. And sometimes, you know, the inside of the shoe, if it's not tonal, it needs a little love. So I totally give Kirk Geiger props. It's such a beautiful color because it really makes the shoe look so expensive and luxurious. I think overall, the shoe was very well made. The entire top of the shoe is so soft. I'm really hoping that these straps aren't going to be digging in because in my past, I have noticed when it's a PVC material like this that has this rubber-like feel, something that edges hurt. The great thing about this shoe is that it is very versatile. Like You can dress it up and go out for the night with your girlfriends, or you can dress it down and go for brunch, but just wear you know some like loose-fitted jeans and a tank top and just let these shoes have their moment. They're so cute. I just think that the price point was great. The original price was $145, but they're actually on sale right now for like 100 bucks. Go check them out online, see them for yourself. Let's try these on. Here they are on. 
I feel like they are a little bit small. They are a size 36, which is what I usually buy, but they're fitting more like a five and a half uh, when they should really be a size six. I'm obviously not going to buy them because they just don't fit right. I would definitely go up half a size. I still think they're really adorable. I do think that they're really fun on. So I'm not gonna lie, I might go back and just buy them a half size bigger. Straps are really nice. And overall, the style is pretty comfy. These are going to be a bye-bye for now. The next shoe we're going to go over is actually by Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher is commonly seen all over department stores and they are from the East Coast. Um, definitely a really good women's footwear brand. I know that they have a lot of variety. In my past, I've only bought a couple of boots from them. They were really plain and black, just like your true basics. I feel like I've never been drawn to them in a more dressy kind of way. And when I saw this style, I thought it was so cute and so different from what they're typically used to designing. I thought it was really sexy and elegant and I immediately fell in love with the silhouette. This kinds of patterns where they have an asymmetrical strap and an ankle strap that complements it are usually so flattering and they really look sexy. I know it might look a little plain off the foot but I can almost guarantee you that it's going to look so much better on. So I do have a little bit of a confession. I saw this shoe in a different colorway at the store and then later I went online and I saw that they had this dark purple colorway. I loved that colorway, it just looks so cool in the photo and when it arrived I was actually kind of bummed because I just really don't like this heel color. It is such a pet peeve for me when a color is off in a shoe and the shoe is supposed to match. Like, I get it, I've lived a design life, I know it's hard sometimes to find components that work together, especially for dealing with price points, but oh man, it's just like, it is such a slight difference, but I think it is a little bit of a game changer when you kind of see it head on. Like, I feel like I got a little bit catfished here. Also, I really don't like the natural color on the outsole. Like, they really should have kept it black. I think that would have saved it a little bit or made it look a little nicer. Like, the top is great, the side is great, but then the heel is, ooh, and then, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this, guys, but you know what? I'm open to it. I'm willing to give her a chance. Have to see what she looks like on. Have to see what she feels like. So, these $130 sandals may or may not change my mind once I try this on. It does have a very special heel. It's like a minimal hourglass and it is an enamel heel, so it's kind of like a plastic heel. I do love the upper color. It's just like this electric purple. The entire sock and insole board of the shoe is this really nice purple metallic and it matches perfectly to the purple PVC. Only the heel matched perfectly. Ugh. Just kidding, it's okay. I'm still being open to it. I do love how the cushion is in the sock. It's so visible. It looks like it's comfortable. It really looks like it has little pillows going down your foot. The ankle strap is such a nice touch. Just, you know, your basic little buckle here. The heel height is great. Again, four inches. And your typical round toe shape and a nice little toe opening. I hope they prove me wrong. My feet will definitely let me know. Alright, so here they are on. I was right and they do look a lot better on, but I still have bad news. They are totally killing me right here. It feels like they're digging into my skin and what I thought was a really nice soft material is actually pretty sharp and they're just bothering me while I'm trying them on. I also don't like how much the strap is gapping on the back, um, especially when I walk. I tried fidgeting a little bit with the buckle, but I can see that it's not really helping. Um, so this is going to have to be a buy. Sorry. So the last shoes we're going to go over are by Aqua. Aqua is Bloomingdale's exclusive private label, so you can only find this brand at Bloomingdale's. The shoes I bought today were $148. They're these super fun blinged out platforms. 
I thought they were just so great. I know a lot of different brands are doing something similar. I know luxury brands have these all over the place, but I really just like a lot of the elements of the shoe. I love the really chunky, aggressive heel. I love the square toe and the heavy platform. I think this is just such a simple, easy platform sandal that has your typical ankle strap, but just like it's all blinked out, it looks like a disco ball, it's wrapped in these rhinestones, and it even came with a little packet of extra rhinestones in case you have problems with any of them. I think they did a great job, even with like the wrap at the toe and insole board. It's this really nice metallic lyrics fabric, which gives the illusion that it's covered in bling. I think overall, she's very simple, but like some of the styles I've reviewed, this is dressy, but you can dress it down, you can dress her up, you can wear this to a wedding. The heel height is about four and a half inches, and it does have a platform that is roughly between one and a half to two inches. Um, styles like this don't fail in comfort. They really are all day shoes. I think this could be something great to add to everybody's closet. It's not considered a neutral, but nowadays like all over bling styles are like a must have. Like you need to have a style like this for the holidays. You need to have a style like this for special events. But right now styles that are all blinged out, you can wear all the time. Especially if you have a matching blinged out clutch. So without further ado, let's see these babies on. Okay guys, I am in love. These are seriously the perfect platforms. They are the perfect height. I love how they sparkle. They're so fun. I could dance in them. I can wear them all day long. I am just obsessed with the way that these straps are at the back. They actually loop from the bottom here so they stay centered. And I really like how they stay in place. They just shine so beautifully. These shoes are a must buy. If you don't have a platform, you need to go get it. It is really the silhouette of the season. Thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations to Bloomingdale's on their 150th anniversary. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. Follow me on social media, especially on Instagram for exclusive content. I'll see you next time. Bye.